showracing the red cards here at St Johnson Football Club to educate young people against the dangers of racism and sectarianism. We empower them to become active citizens, challenging racism and sectarianism in their schools and communities. They've been involved in a carousel of workshops this morning, um, promoting anti-racism, anti-sectarianism, equality, respect and teamwork. They've then engaged with ex-professional um, counsellors and current professional footballers who are continuously inspiring them to say no to racism and sectarianism in football and in society. Have we got James? Religion is a Muslim. Oh, he's a Muslim, okay. She wears the hijab, her choice to wear the hijab, her family are Muslim, but they are quite relaxed about their faith. They've got African heritage. His grand, granny and granda moved here about 50 or 60 years ago. And Tommy was born in Scotland, his mum and dad were born in Scotland, and they love the life they have in Scotland. It's really important that we don't judge people by their appearance. It's like a book. If you don't, if you look at a book and you don't particularly like that book, you look at the way it looks on the outside. The only way you will ever know if that is a good book is by opening it up and reading it. The only way you will ever find out if that person is a good person is by getting to know them. There was a word that uh, uh, Amanda used earlier. You're, you're actually excluding them without even knowing them. And nobody, does anybody like being excluded? Yeah. Is that a nice feeling to have? If you're left out, it must be terrible. And we treat others the way... Speak up. We want you to be treated. We would like to be treated as well. We learned a lot about racism, sectarianism, respect and equality this morning. But remember we said that someone can receive racism because of four characteristics. But we learned that people can be racist towards someone's culture, their skin colour, their religion, and finally, their nationality. their nationality. Excellent. So these are things, boys and girls, that are going to be further explored in the DVD that we're about to watch. <laughs> Show racism the red card. Show racism the red card. People just say, why the hell do you wear this thing so, like on your head? And I'm just like, well, this is my religion, this is how it is. And if you don't like that, then go research about it or something. Because I don't know what Islam really means. It's about uh, living together and working together and, and, and showing respect for each other's beliefs and cultures. Because we have three extremely special guests who have come along to join us for a bit this afternoon. So, when I shout their name, I want you to give them a big round of applause and they're current St Johnston Football Club players. Paddy Gregg. <laughs> Gregory Taddy. Gregory, thanks again for coming along today and helping educate the young people about the importance of being um, an anti-racism role model. Now, you've been really, really dedicated and your support's been invaluable to the campaign. You know, you've been at the Wraith Rovers event, Inverness, yeah. you're now at St Johnson, and again, you give your time, time and time again to inspire these young people. Why is it so important to you to do that and get that message across? 
Well, I think it's uh, it's more important for me because I've been subject to, to racism before. When I mentioned to the kid when I was in the lower league and uh, last year I had a wee accident on, on Twitter, being subject to racism again. So I think it's if you, if you educated the, the kid, it's, it's way better. It's way better. It's a, it's a way to give back as well to the community and try to do my bit because it's not just about playing football and training every morning and you know sometimes stuff like that can make a difference. So um, I'm very pleased to to do it every every year every time I've got the opportunity.